Hey guys, this is hey guys, this is Mac Kids in one with Terminal Lesson 20. In this Terminal Lesson, I'm going to show you how to download web pages onto your computer from Terminal, such as Google's index page that I've downloaded to this simple text file on my desktop. If I open it with Taco HTML in it, you can clearly see that it is Google's homepage. How do I do this with Terminal? I'll go into Terminal. And there's a very interesting command that downloads a file from the internet. Now, you may know about wget on Linux, which downloads a file. This works pretty much like that. You type curl, space, dash, zero, space, and then the URL. So, I'll do www.google.com. And by default, it will just display you the text of the web page. Watch. Now, say you want to download it to a file. All you do is curl dash zero http colon slash s www dot let's say google dot com and this time let's do greater than after another space than the file path. I'll do tilde slash desktop slash file. And here we go. Now if I say vi tilde slash desktop slash file it is Google's homepage. So that is um, how to download a web page from the internet. Now the cool thing is that you could run commands that you put on your website. So say you have a website, MacKidsInOne.com slash say script. You could have a shell script that runs in the background that every minute keeps on re-downloading that script and running it. So that way, whenever you change that script on your website, everyone who has this little program running runs this new script. So you could really make something that lets you control a lot of people's computers with this. So anyway, this is just ultimately a great way to not use wget because the Mac doesn't support wget. Like if I type wget, I think you can install it from like any Linux repository. It's just sitting there. But curl is a pretty nice way to do this. So I hope you try curl out. Um, I hope you start using it. Like it's annoying whenever I find a zip file and Safari automatically unzips it and stuff. I want to just be able to download it, zip info it to see what files are in it, and then finally get it. So this is how to use curl. This is terminal lesson 20. Curl has many more options like dash I think it's like dash one, dash two, but they aren't HTTP options. They're more like FTP, SMB, stuff like that. Um, but this is how to do it. So I know a lot of people have been asking me this a lot, and I'm glad I figured it out. So anyway, thanks for watching, Mac Kids in a One. Subscribe and goodbye.